Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a 2018 model year limited edition of 100 pieces of 40 millimeters in stainless steel. This is the Mont Blanc 1858 Mono pusher chronograph. From Mont Blanc, this watch actually manufactured in Villaray with the Minerva Movement Caliber 1321. That's why there's a little Minerva logo as well as the caliber name on the dial side. It is effectively the ultra haute de gamme within Mont Blanc and these are scarce watches. Significantly, this was a lot smaller than the other Minerva powered Mont Blanc chronographs. Back in 2018, Mont Blanc gave us one we could finally wear on a small wrist. So 40 millimeters in diameter, 12.6 millimeters thick, 49.9 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, 20 millimeters between the lugs. This timepiece, which is in the elite grade of luxury chronographs, wears beautifully on my wrist. We'll zoom out a little bit. You can see my wrist 16 centimeters circumference. Uh, this watch, which really can stand shoulder to shoulder with something like a Patek 5070, is an outstanding match for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. It's a little bit broader from end to end, lug to lug, than I expected, but it still wears low enough that you could easily wear this with a dress cuff or a tight sleeve. Taking a quick look at the strap, it's a meaty piece, green like the dial, but before green was cool, back in 2018, large rectangular scale alligator leather. We have a contrasting stitch with a little bit of an off-white coloration that matches the tone of the loom. There's some bolstering to give it volume. You can see the edges are sheer cut showing the layers of leather. It's gator on both sides, which is something you see on De Betune, louis Lee Chopard, F. Pigeon, Chronometry, Fernand Bertou. Really high-end brands now are using gator on both sides. More expensive, but results in a longer lasting strap. A simple satin finished Mont Blanc pin buckle for quick adjustments. It's a very traditional watch. We have lovely expanding bevels on the edges of the lugs. You can see a longitudinal satin finish with an integrated lug profile. Head on, the lugs are actually fairly narrow and tapered. Then we roll over to the mono pusher side, which you can see is handsomely polished on its flanks and faceted with the contrast between satin and polish to allow this critical component to be visually striking as well as functionally outstanding. It feels great in this Nothing like activating a finely tuned high horology column wheel chronograph, and this is that. We have the Mont Blanc star, and of course a rather sharply knurled crown that's both polished and satinated, as you can see. The dial has a tachymeter scale outside, and it can be used for gauging the speed of things moving fast, unless you're good with mental decimals, in which case you can gauge the speed of moving things that are slow. Now we also have twin register. We have a railroad track outboard for the chronograph seconds and the minutes of the day. We also have sub registers for constant seconds and chronograph minutes. All of the loom is a lovely off-white. It is a Fotina, but it's not offensively cloying. It's actually a pretty good looking Fotina dial. Now the movement is of surpassing caliber and it has a dial to match. A gradient from silver green at the center to almost black at the edge. This anticipated the green dial trend by a couple of years and it's still one of the best looking. You can also see this watch features semi-instantaneous jumping minutes, courtesy of Caliber 1321. Flip it all over. Caliber 1321 is based on the 1920s Caliber 1320. Uh, the two numbers variously describing the size of the movement and the year work started. Now you can see a surprise on the reverse side. A stainless steel watch, not expected in this class, but what you can't see is that it's also 100 meters water resistant, which makes it surprisingly sporty for a timepiece that, at first glance, appears to be the consummate dress chronograph. Limited edition, individual numbering out of 100, Mont Blanc puts all of its watches through a 500-hour test of chronometry and durability. The star of the show, caliber 1321, smaller than the other Mont Blanc Villaret Minerva movements, and thus able to fit in a smaller case, it features all of their technical virtues. You can see it is a column wheel lateral clutch chronograph that is classically beautiful. It is a manual wind with a 55-hour power reserve, pivots on 22 joules, it has a handmade overcoil hairspring, so it keeps good time in any physical position with respect to gravity, and it beats way at a pleasing the vintage 18,000 vibrations per hour. Now you can see everything turning black as I tilt the 
case back through the light is black polished. There is a lot of it on the regulator, on the screw heads, on the cap of the column wheel. You can see there's satin finish on the steel components of the chronograph with mirrored beveling on the edges as well as on the edges of the bridges. And the anglage on these bridges is a mile wide, aesthetically pleasing and easy to access, though it's difficult to see. You can see the ratchet wheel underneath the chronograph levers actually solarized so it has a wonderful spiral graining across its top and then the crown wheel and the ratchet wheel both feature micro beveled teeth truly a sight to behold and this watch is worthy of a fine loop you'll also note that the interior of the wheels uh, the spokes as well as the inner circumference have been beveled we have Cote de Genève across the bridges all of its rhodium plated brass with the exception of the chronograph components which are steel and then you can see the Minerva devil's tail which is executed on one of the levers of the chronograph you can see that little arrow tip that's a signature of Minerva watchmaking a beautiful watch in every regard perfect in almost every way and again surprisingly water resistant rugged and steel and well loomed so a sports watch in unexpected form reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing